Oh my gosh, this house is so messy. There's no work getting done. That's it. I'm taking charge here. I'm taking charge. Do you feel in charge? No, I don't. Good. Because you're not in charge. I am. Hey guys, Dylan makes one, Babes one. And we're here for a spoiler review of The Dark Knight Rises. Well, confess, spoilers are not in the film. So, um... If it was bad or not, if you enjoy this review, if you haven't seen the movie, if you're that dumb to read the title and think we would not give you spoilers, leave this review now because we will spoil the whole film for you. Okay, so... I'll give it back to you, the people. Okay, so, so if you haven't seen the movie and you still want to see a review which doesn't spoil, click on our channel, click on our channel. scroll down, watch the video, then like the video, then and favorite subscribe. the video, and subscribe. then subscribe to it. You should subscribe. If you click that button up there, it says subscribe. Yeah, anyway, let's get into some spoilers, eh? Let's get into some yeah. spoilers. Now, after seeing it for a second time, I did enjoy it more the second time, but still my views stay the same. I still, I still think it's good, but not great. And I still give it three and a half stars out of five. But there's still a few scenes which I like, but I still hate the ending. Yeah. For starters, what I like about this movie is where Christopher Nolan went with this. He could have went anywhere. This movie takes, um, eight years, takes place eight years after the events yeah. of The Dark Knight. And, um, you still see characters who are affected by what Joker done. Batman. What? Bruce Wayne, no, Commissioner Gordon, him trying to hold in the truth. It's hurting him. He wants to tell the truth, but he, he just can't. And you know, this, this, Gotham's basically been saved by a lie, a lie. And, um, there's this one scene in the movie where, um, Bruce Wayne talks to Commissioner Gordon in the hospital and they're like, oh, the, the evil's gonna rise up where we try to bury it with a lie. And that's true. Yeah. What they're trying to, they basically saved Gotham by, doing a lie, and now, you know, evil's rising up again. And when Bane comes back, he forces Batman to rise, and he has to get all ready and stuff. But what I, one thing I want to talk about Bane. is that Bane is consistent. He's, he's, not, mer he's, not, he's not merciful. He, sh he shows no mercy. I have no mercy. I want to quickly talk about Bane for you, man. What I liked about him is that this is probably the first ever Batman villain on the big screen what has made me feel threatened that Gotham is going to be in ashes. He is the one villain out of all, you know, with the Joker and all that. I like the Joker, but he never he never made me feel threatened that, oh, no, Bane's in trouble. Uh, Batman's in trouble. No, Bane made me feel that, and he's probably one of the best villains I've ever seen. Batman did the whole thing with prisoners and that, like, who, which one's going to be blowing up the kids of the prisoners? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, um... With this, this is probably the best villain I've seen on screen, and he's so threatening. Mm. That's the thing. Like his voice, it sounds a bit. Very villain, John. His voice is abnormal and really projected, and I understand it well. But his tactics, man, they're so crazy. You know, his henchmen will die for him. Like at the beginning scene, the guy can't go vain, so he basically stays back because he wants the fire to rise. His henchmen are even like that crazy, you know. Mm. And then you also got Bane. If you don't do something right, he'll shoot you. You know, there's this scene where um, Commissioner Gordon's going um, underground and all that because basically the henchmen bring the place with them underground where they are at and Bane's basically pissed off and, and then he kills one of his henchmen. You know, that's totally crazy, you know. he's Bang! One thing is that, here we go, I'm going to just jump right into the end and score for you, okay? No, You've I'm probably already seen it. Yeah, yeah, we can go in scene by scene, like this ain't doing the it's already been running for four minutes and you've been babbling your mouth off. You've been babbling your mouth off and I haven't said one thing. Okay, you do. So just wanna say about the end. Batman gets a um bat 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 brain gets a cheap ending. Yeah. He gets killed by a gun. By a catwoman. We don't she know if he actually him. dies. She drives in and shoots Bane, and Bane's out for the rest of the movie. Guess who comes into the picture and takes over as head villain at the end? Talia Ghul. Talia Ghul. You know, she's also Miranda, the cheap 
Miranda I Tate. You're like, seriously, that's what I was saying before about Bane. You know, hate it. he's the main villain. You know, he stole the whole movie. He stole the show. He threatened mm. me. You know, I was scared. You know, even his walk, how he walks slow motion. He's so threatened. And there's this one scene where he smashes Batman to a pulp. And mm. Batman's back is broken. And then he gets a rip off at the end by this chick, you know. He, mm. he's, he leaves the movie by getting shot by a catwoman. And then it's all about Talia al Ghul. You know. And I then hate he, it. I hated it too. I hated the ending. Like some of the dialogue was a bit shitty as well. Uh, yeah. Excuse my language, but it's a bit crap. Some of the dialogue was crap. And, um, yeah, there's a bit where, um, uh, Robin, he's a different character, his name, but his name is actual real name is Robin in the Dark Knight Rises, which I'm pretty sure that is Batman's sidekick to come. But, hold up. Um, this Robin guy, he says this line to, um, Batman when he's trying to convince Batman to come back is like, do you know what it's like to feel angry? In your bones. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. That sounds so stupid, man. Who gets angry in their bones, you know? You know, you can have an angry heart or something. You can't really have an angry heart because a heart's the thing that keeps you alive. But... Bane had the best dialogue, I have to say. There's this one bit when this guy's mm. gone nuts. He just puts his hand on it. He's like, do you feel in control? Do you feel in charge? And when, when I just, when I just heard that, I was like, in charge? this guy's not in charge. And also when um, Bane says, oh, when Gotham moves ashes, then you've got my permission to die. And that's when my... Gotham moves to ashes, then you have my permission to die. You don't have to keep on doing the voice every two seconds. I love it. I love the voice. But right. that's the thing, you know, Batman actually replies back to him at the end where he, he bashes him up. He says, then you got my permission to die when you tell me where the switch full of bomb is because there's this atomic bomb. Where is it? He did the whole Joker thing where he's bashing up the Joker and he's like, where is he? He's like, where is that? Where is that? Where is the sweat? Where is that? After seeing that a second time, like every scene what Bane does, you have to watch really carefully because each scene contributes to what is to come to um, Gotham's Reckoning. Everything what he does in this movie actually counts, so you have to watch it really carefully. Even go and see it a second time and you will definitely get it, okay? You have to watch it carefully. It's yeah, Batman's yeah, introduction. What you normally see in Batman films that he comes up to a villain and grabs him and says, Hello, my name's Batman. And this movie didn't have that. Um, the, um, Bane and his goons, whatever, they are basically riding off on motorbikes. You know, because they went to a money swap place or something. And um, they're basically escaping on motorbikes. And this is when Batman has to come back on his motorbike and turns off all the lights. And then he comes out of nowhere and the police officer says, Or oh, now you're in for a show. So, and his introduction is so great, you know, he comes out and then the police officer's now uh, to his rookie that you're in for a show. And that was totally awesome. He's a bit rusty, but still he's taking out all these, um, all these goons of Bane. And then the police officers, instead of going to get Bane and, cause you Bane, actually hear Batman rust. <laughs> That's probably you can't thing. really, but it was Funny anyway. Well, that was the thing that this was the best high speed chase ever because Batman took out all the goons and then there's Bane left. But this dumbass cop says, nah, let's don't get Bane, let's go and get Batman. What the hell? Batman is trying to help you. And then all the police are going up and they think he's not trying to help Bane, as he? Like, Batman showed his real colours when he betrayed this good man. Or be damned. But that was the best high speed chase. And then the high speed chase ends off with. Batman escaping on the Batwing, and the Batwing sounded awesome, man. Yeah, he had this 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 new device called the Bat, and it flies in the air. It mm. looks like those spacecraft craft crafts from the show called Falling Skies, and I love that show. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And there's also great physical fights between Bane and Batman. You know, because Batman, he wants to find Bane, and basically, um, um, no, Catwoman betrayed, mind. Catwoman betrays him, so, and that's when Batman physically gets broken by Bane, and that's when he, he gets chucked in the Lazarus, the Lazarus pit, which, uh, supposedly, that's where Bane was when he was a child, and he escaped, but that's really, Marvel, it, Lazarus. but that is, um, Lazarus Arise.
But um, that's where the um, supposedly Bane escaped when he was a kid, but really it was Talia al Ghul. Because this movie, it showcases Bane and then he gets just, man, he, they raped yeah. him. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jill. Guess what, guys? Guess what? Batman, when he's about to die at the end, there's big bombs up. Bang! You think Batman's dead? Well, guess what? He's alive at the real end. He comes back to life. Well, he doesn't come back to life. But he's alive anyway. And he's with Catwoman. And they're lovey-dovey. And they're having... I don't know if they're having kids, but I would assume that they are having kids. And Robin, it looks like Robin's about to take over as Batman. It looks like Robin's about to do things. Great things, great, 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 great. He looks like he's about to go nuts. Robin looks like he's about to go <laughs> superheroing around. He's he'll, you are about to see a show when you see Robin at the end of the, near the credits. He is like Robin comes in. He's like standing and rising up into the bat cave. What well, looks like to be a bat cave. It could be. It could be um it Robin cave. cave. It could be Robin cave. It could be bat cave. Could be anything. If there's, there's like this elevator coming out of the ground while he's in this water waterfall. Who cares, man? Bat cave. Bat, bat rob cave. Rob, <laughs> the robot cave. Whatever. But, um, the one scene what I want to talk to you, which is my favourite, is. I the, need to breathe, okay? Okay, yeah, so let me talk. Um, the best scene about this movie Woo! is the, um, stadium scene. Now, this scene, which is my favourite, is because this is the lowest point which Gotham gets at. Real bad. And this ain't any physical stuff. Through the whole movie, you see Bane go physical. Now that you get to see his mental side. And he basically takes down Gotham uh, with uh, just one uh, switch. He, t- he takes down Gotham with one click of a button. And Gotham's at its lowest. All the, co- <coughs> All the cops get trapped underground. <laughs> besides um, Commissioner Gordon and Robin. So all the cops get trapped underground. But also... Ground. All the bridge get exploded off um, Gotham as well. This is when Batman is chucked in the pit and Gotham just reaches its lowest. You know, you got Scarecrow you being got the judge. Chucked in the pit, guys, in the pit, the circle hole. Yeah, and um, Scarecrow's being the judge. Now, that's one thing we want to talk about. Scarecrow is a judge. He's a great villain, and guess what? He's just a sidekick to Bane. Why the raping Scarecrow? Haven't you raped him enough, Nolan? He looked really bad in this film. Hmm. But that's one thing I like, seeing Gotham reach its lowest point and just seeing yeah. Batman rise and seeing so to the end. seeing so many superheroes get raped was great too. Yeah, just seeing Batman also um, rise out of the pit at the end and something just fight Bane and bash him up was So great. many great scenes, but so many crap scenes too. Yeah, people getting raped, good superheroes that got raped. Bane, Scarecrow, who Bane else? Bane ain't a superhero. Not superhero, I meant supervillain. Yeah, super villain, huh? But that's the Bang, scarecrow. But also, I stay the same with my um my. What I dislike about the movie is that this movie can have great action scenes, but it can also have big, long, slow periods. That's what really got me out of the movie. And the ending with Talia Ghul, I didn't like. But that's really it for my spoiler thing, man. You know? Yeah, right. I love you guys. Hey, eh? this is Bates one. Kill the next one. I'm gonna go on special. Yeah. 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 Like, favorite, subscribe.